This is the reflection video for the um, MI Complications ATI Makeup Clinical. Um, any ethical dilemmas? I thought it was very interesting how the patient disclosed that um, he doesn't really have time, him or his wife, to cook a meal, so he eats a lot of um, fast food despite his... Um, history of hypertension and CAD, um, and then how he wasn't aware of um, how much sodium intake he should be due to the fact that he should be on a low sodium diet as well as a low um, fat diet. Um, I thought that was really interesting how the nurse took the time to sit down and discuss um, not only the modifiable risks, but also I thought this was like a really good example where he said, okay, here's a, here's today's menu breakfast, pick, you know, pick what you guys would think. And then we can talk about, I think that that's like a really great example of applying the information that you're providing the patient, um, or it gives them the opportunity to apply it. And then you can either, you know, reward that, or you can further teach, um, an aha moment that I had, which was really interesting, um, Tuesday, I had a patient who, um, we were, I was kind of unsure, um, about like the differences in pressors and anatropes, uh, and inotropes and all of that. And so, um, during this scenario, when the, when the nurse started the, dubiotamine, dubotamine, dubiotamine <laughs> drip, um, and that wasn't working. And the my first thought was like, okay, so the patient's going to need a presser. And then the scenario um, kind of cued into that and said, okay, well, what kind of presser would you give? So that was a great like application portion for myself. And then um, something that I didn't really feel too prepared for was, um, was the progression of the cardiogenic shock. I mean, I knew, understand what cardiogenic shock is. I understand like how it can happen after, you know, a STEMI. And then also in addition, this patient had an angioplasty, but um, the rapid progression of like, oh shoot, we kind of have to like get the patient probably like a rapid response and so forth. Um, and then also... I like the fact that I was able to understand um, when the patient or when the nurse was doing the assessment on the patient and he heard wheezing and strider, um, all of that. So overall, it was a great scenario. It really helped put like everything into perspective. Um, so yeah, I enjoyed it.